Hello again everyone, this is Toby from Toby Urban Sketch and today we're going to have a lot of fun with a 10 minute Instagram challenge. Uh, the, the challenge itself is called hashtag draw built in church and it's by a really good artist, brilliant artist called at R Ron Lowendowki underscore art and their details are at the bottom and if you follow that hashtag you can find the reference photo. Also taking the opportunity to try out some new pens uh, I bought them yesterday, Rotring Tiki Graphic Pens. I've got three sizes, 0 0.1, 0 0.3 and a 0.5. Just going to see what they do for us. As ever, if you enjoy the video, please do like and subscribe. It's a real support to, to my little channel. So the other thing to say is using a, a new sketchbook for September. This is a Cardi Paper sketchbook. It's about six inches by six inches square quite a nice rough surface just 200 um, grams per square meter so quite thin so it'll be interesting to see what happens with the water when we add it so let's get started just going to make a note of the time and see if we can get done in 10 minutes so the, the photo itself is an interesting photo of a church with a big bouquet of flowers bouquet a big um, bed of flowers in the front I'm going to start off, this is the 0.1 millimetre pen. And we've got to remember here, we're going for 10 minutes. So we're trying to make something interesting, but we're not going to be able to get all the lines in. We're not going to be able to be super accurate, but we can still be really interesting just by getting those main shapes in. We'll make sure we know what it is that we've drawn. And then we can just see what we can do with the colour. We'll see how much time we've got left or what we feel like doing. So this is the, the church here. And I think you already have the church shape just from these simple rectangle square, a little bit of a triangle for the roof. And get these windows in. We're trying to sort of get the idea of a medieval building just with the, the textures we can add in. I think the, the texture of the paper is going to help a huge amount with that as well. Just going to go over some of these main structural lines so it's clear what we're looking at and we've got another triangle in here some spires bring it down you can actually see it backing onto the church there we go and there's a couple of bushes so these these white areas are all trees and greenery in the front just getting them in as really simple shapes and there's trees coming in here. So what we've got in the front is a garden. And we've got this sort of domineering set of roses. And we just want to get the idea of the shapes of these flowers. The ones at the top, which is sort of a little more in the background. And then some slightly bigger ones here, which are more in the foreground. And just using simple shapes, something between the square, pentagons, hexagons. And getting the idea of some facing that way, some forwards. Some irregular shapes like that. And then bunch them up. And I'm not, um, obviously, sort of, but you can see these aren't perfect representations of flowers. But I'm also not getting exactly the distribution of flowers on the page either. I'm picking and choosing where I think, you know, the flow of the image needs something. So we've got a nice little loop here, which feeds into the the um, church as well. Let's move back to the church to re-emphasise it a little bit. This is all with the 0.1mm pen as well. I'm actually quite quite liking the effect it gives. The Cardi papers tend to be very absorbent so when you use pen on them they can I find give quite a different effect to many other papers or certainly the sort of more fancy watercolour papers. And it's not to say that's bad at all, it's just it's different and it's interesting. It's something to get used to if you're changing between papers early. 
Um, another thing about trying to do these sketches quickly, apart from just focusing on the main shapes and simplifying things, so these are some statues, is be sensible about the choice of size that you've gone for. So here we've got a small sheet of paper. Obviously, even doing this same simple technique, there's no chance that I'm filling an A3 sheet with colour and pen work by the end. Let's just get a few details of bricks on here. Okay, so just need to finish off some of the idea of these flowers. So we want to get the stems coming down. The eye of the ear of, sort of overlapping. So I'm starting with the ones in the background. Get some more sort of loose leaf-like shapes coming in as well. Okay, and that is enough for now, I think. So what's that? That's five minutes gone. So this is obviously necessarily going to be really loose and lively. Just using a, a size eight. It's quite a small size eight round brush and we'll just start by popping some water in a few places. These are all the greens I'm adding water to first because I think the green probably washed into a blue sky is going to be the thing which unifies this image. I'm going to start off with something quite light. So I've got a bit of a gold green I'm mixing up with a little bit of a Windsor green. Okay, and then I'm going to tilt this slightly so that everything can move. I talk a lot in um, my videos and when I do art, when I do workshops and things about linking stuff together. And that's what's really important here, I think, is just making sure we simplify things even more by just bringing these colours together. The idea, so this loose wash can just come over things. I'm trying to mostly avoid the, what I'm going to have the flowers as, but these petal shapes we, we added can have some colour on them. We can go over them and re-emphasise them if we have a bit of time. Okay, I suppose I should say, what's the point in doing a 10 minute, 10 minute challenge? Well, if you sort of put these kind of pointless, I guess, uh, rules in, things which are a bit of fun. It loosens up your technique and you can learn things just by splashing paint on and seeing what happens. And you, you know, maybe you don't want to do it all the time, but it's a great way of just practicing, developing and having a bit of fun rather than spending a long time doing something a bit perfect. So I'm just going to put some water in the sky now and we're going to bring it close to that tree so it's going to bleed together and I'm going to pop a bit of neutral tint down. I don't think you could use this paint grey but just watch what happens with this neutral tint when it goes down. It sort of blooms upwards. I think it's a really fascinating effect and with no effort Look at the textures, the shapes, which are already coming in here. Okay, so we've got a couple of minutes left here. So what else do I need to do? Well, I'm going to touch a little blue in there. And then I'm going to bring it down to add a bit of shape to our building and a bit more of intense neutral shade. These are the top results. Ooh. That's Google trying to talk to me, just to get these windows in a bit more. All right, and then, so the nice thing about neutral tint is it, it darkens colors. So you can just mix it up a bit with the greens we've already been using and get the idea of a bit of interest in all our greenery, all our foliage. And now, 
let's get to these roses. So I'm going to just try and vary the colours a little bit. Everything's wet, so a lot of them are going to run together, and that's fine. This is a permanent carmine by um, Winsor Newton. I actually used it in a commission recently. I sent they had a, a light pink house, and we spent a while just choosing the, the sort of perfect shade, and they they felt this with a little of uh, gouache in was was the perfect shade and actually I just rediscovered it it's a really lovely color and I'm also going to get some scarlet lake in there just as a bit of variation what 30 seconds left so just dropping these colors in and let's just splash a bit in there as well and then red and neutral tint just to give the effect of this wall a little bit more shape in here bring the roof line in for example and that's it that's my 10 minute instagram challenge so just sign it like i always say I'm going to let it dry and see what it looks like. And here it is all dried up. So you can see even in just 10 minutes we've got some really interesting variation in the trees. This sky just by dropping in that neutral tint and a little bit of it was cobalt blue. It's got some wonderful shapes in and the shape of the, the buildings clear and these guys are quite interesting in the front as well. One thing I am going to just cheat and do is grab a little bit more cobalt and neutral tint so it's quite dark and just get even more texture in there. I'm going to do the same with some green and I think now it is really done. That just adds, you know, having two layers of paint gives a little bit more for the eye to look at and adds a really just interesting unexpected twist to your to your drawings so that is it my um my 10 minute draw belt and church challenge if you do fancy doing something similar please um you know upload it onto instagram or whatever social media you use and, and do send me a link if you like you can find me on my instagram or on my website which is tobyurbansketch.card.com Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, please um, hit the like button and press subscribe.